who did this stranger say he was? Prince Salamander of Pedantry, I hope and think. You idiot. Are you trying to tell me that Prince Alexander of Daventry is here? Confound it! That's the young man Cosima met at Mordak's castle. The timing could not be worse. Tell me, what is he doing? He was in the pawn shop buying a magic <gasps> smap. <laughs> magic smap? What is this magic smap? <laughs> With the smap, he can travel to other islands. Master. The nightingale swoops down, grabs the ring, and takes it towards the castle. Sing, sing. What have you got in your mouth, my pretty? A gold ring? <gasps> sing, sing. Where did you get this? Realm of Daventry. But this is Alexander's ring. Oh, my soul. He must be here. Sing, sing. I wish you could tell me what you've seen. Is he really here, then, on this very island? Oh, if only I could leave this castle as easily as you. By my scimitar, I can't have him stirring things up. Not now! Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. Alexander hears someone coming. I fear scars of the isle we be. Watch for a foreign man, said he. With ears and nose, tongue, hands and eyes. Its nature cannot be disguised. If it mad it be, then man it dies. Old Tom Troll, smell your smell. Do that which you do so well. Dome time. Shove this in your nose. Alexander holds the item. My nose cannot. This is a very elaborate security system Alexander. they have. I don't know about its efficacy. I know. I don't think you're going to get unique uh, dialogue for anything. I just had to try a few, but I yeah. will. Alexander holds the flower of stench out to the gnome with the jumbo nose. Tom Troll I am, that's all I'll be. My nose knows all on land and sea. A flower of stench has washed ashore. A flower tis all and nothing more. Oh, oh, Jesus. Listen, hark you, Rogalor. Do your duty as you soar. With your ears, please tell us more. Oh, I can't even try to walk away. I was going to... An odd-looking gnome stands before Alexander. He has incredibly huge ears. I guess I'll try something. Oops. My ears can't miss that strong heartbeat. A man it is. A man we greet. A man, a man, so say our ears. We shall send him to his beer. What is a beer? a beer? I've never heard of this before. Actually, wait, are they... I think the death method is the same every time, right? Yeah. Okay. Alexander winds the tin nightingale and plays it for the gnome with the monumental ears. Oh, a you beer know is a movable a frame on which a coffin or a corpse is placed before burial or cremation or on which it is carried to the grave. My Rick ears can hear nothing so clear as the sound of a man standing here. Set to... Alexander Wine. I didn't realize that he hears your heartbeat. Uh, that was interesting. He's driving. Yeah, I love that he dances. 
Also, I love that they all say the rhyme for themselves in turn. Mm -hmm. A nose is not a way to spy. My ears cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. Taste the rum trump that we might know, whether the friend or whether the foe. Stick your dick on his tongue. <laughs> oh man, oh man! <laughs> 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 oh <Sorry>. man <laughs> I'm sorry I need a <laughs> God damn it Rick um, Jesus I don't think I even have anything else I could try but I'll um Here taste this Alexander winds the mechanical nightingale <laughs> And plays it for the gnome Also, I feel like that the hearing gnome should have uh, noticed the winding, the very they distinct know. mechanical whir. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My tongue dislikes this sour thing, and the taste of man all over it clings. A man, a man, so say our tongue, to the realm of the dead we send this one. Oh shit, sorry. I thought I'd save. Okay. Alexander. At the very least, um. We know that it's different when you try to trick them versus them just tasting you, and he did not even taste me. Gotcha. Yeah. I do wish they'd let you, um, solve some of them incorrectly, though. Like, because you could do that in old games, and I always find that fun. Look at his fucking ears. nose is not a way to spy. Why is My it ears cannot be told a lie. A nightingale is all there be. No man is near, and so say me. Just what What was that choice about? Taste the rum trump that we might know whether the friend or whether the foe. Whether friend or whether foe. <laughs> a squatty little gnome stands before Alexander. He has a huge mouth and a very long, curled-up tongue. It's a good thing this isn't Leisure Suit Larry. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know how Grump Frump is, like, the least scary of these. I know. My tongue betrays this one so sly. A man it is, I tell no lie. Oh, I saw his eyes for a, a second. Man, so okay. So, you know, who's your favorite sensory gnome and which one's your favorite? Uh, which one's the scariest? Uh, the scariest is undoubtedly the one with the ears. I want to say that the hands one is the scariest, at least for me. a tasty treat. It matters not what others bleat. No danger is this one so sweet. When you say scariest, are you talking about to defeat or just to look at? Just, to just look like at. my my visceral response. Trilly Dilly is pretty scary. Trilly Dilly is the scariest because to me he's <laughs> everything that he says. It's just so unpleasant, and the way he has his hands, like it's just awful. Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> My hands cannot be led astray. A man is here. That's plain as day. A man, a man, so say our hands. We act at the wizard's command. A gnome with very large hands stands in front of Alexander. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out. Oh, you have to do the, the, huge the waiting death. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. I can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> How did the Butcher of Daventry forget a death? <laughs> so, I... Al Hazred is the one who actually set these guys up here. They're not, like, native sentries. It's my bias. <laughs> my hands know what the rest do not. A man is standing on this spot. A man, a man... Now, see, if we were typing in, you know, we would have already put in, like, <laughs> offer dick to Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Kiss gnome. Alexander holds the rabbit foot out for the gnome with the huge hands. Take clothes off. <laughs> Be 
thee, all you mad? What aileth thee? A bunny can't trill merrily. A hare does not at all taste sweet. A rabbit here is all we greet. I always loved his rhyme. Wholemeal batter, never fatter. Vision can resolve this matter. Look you now and end this chatter. When I was a kid, I always thought uh, it was crazy that this guy, uh, <laughs> he has his eyes open in the portrait, but then they're closed when they're talking. I know. Also, they should probably lead with the guy who Alexander has eyeballs. Alexander holds the item yeah. out for the gnome with the enormous eyes. But you know what? They probably did that because, I'm sorry, uh, they would never get a chance. Like, they probably settled this otherwise a long time ago that everybody gets a chance to go first, then the vision guy does it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. My eyes cannot <laughs> distracted be. A man I see, and so say me. A man, a man, so say our eyes. A man he be, a man he dies. I'm going to have to borrow a man, a man, <laughs> every time we see someone hot. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. Oh, do I have to wait? A gnome with gigantic eyes is standing before Alexander. Oh, the senses, eyes are best. A man, I say, and hang the rest. A man, wow. a man. Hang them? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alexander pours the contents of the empty looking ink bottle over himself. By all that's beauteous, fair, and sightly, four morons do I sleep with nightly. There's nothing there at all, I say. Enough of this. Let's now away. I like that he tried to feel, you know, mm -hmm. which sort of just makes the case that one, like, vision is not enough by itself. Mm -hmm. That's somebody else's job. Alexander did it. He's fooled the guards. The guards. I was at that line. I love this place so much. Oh my god, one of my absolute favorite characters, probably in any game ever. I, well, I suppose it makes sense to you guys. <laughs> mm, wow. Hiya, gorgeous. What a luscious looking hunk of flesh you are. Uh, thank you, I guess. Who are you? <gasps> How charming of you to pretend not to know. I'm Black Widow, of course. The femme fatale of all femme fatales. Know what I mean? <laughs> you know, I was just thinking it was time I found my 50th, uh, another husband. It would be quite a horror. Uh, I mean, an honor to have me <laughs> as a bride. <laughs> just look at my beautiful weaving. It's so light, so delicate. You'll never want to leave my little nest. Hmm. It is a lovely web, but my heart is elsewhere, I'm afraid. Oh, drat! Uh, <clears throat> I mean, the loss is yours. I'm sure you'll change your mind once you consider the advantages. Well. A black widow is sitting in her web. She has long legs and an hourglass <laughs> on her belly. She gives Alexander a knowing look. I love that she's like eyeballing me. <laughs> that scrap of paper blew into my web from those books over there. The wind just thinks it can deposit anything here. <laughs> An intricately detailed spider's web has been spun between a pile of books and a small tree. Do you think she has spider titties? Like we can't really yes, see. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> they, they're trying to invoke a silhouette of a woman here. Uh oh. The music's messed up again. Play that nightingale. Mm -hmm. So there you are, handsome. What can I do for you now? Nothing, apparently. Alexander it really does fix it. It does. <laughs> <laughs> the secret puzzle in King's Quest VI. Oh, 
Oh my god, I forgot I gave my ring to Cosima. I was like, I was gonna give her my ring to see if I could, like, propose to her. Hmm, Alexander. Oh. No, no, thank you, you sweet man. Like a good little wife, I have no interest in anything except my cozy little web and you. Alexander reaches out to touch the Black Widow. That's right. Go with your feelings. Get closer to me. Alexander feels the tiny pinprick of the spider's bite and the slow burning of her poison. gonna eat us like i i mean that seems to be the Get intention it. unless oh, she's just hey. wanting just to kill you for the sake of it the sport of why it why do you think they call her a widow mm -hmm. alexander re ah, oh, how sweet the matrimony i knew you'd change your mind Alexander feels the sharp prick of the Black Widow's teeth. Then, a strange burning sensation. Alexander feels a strange burning sensation. <laughs> ah, a widow again. <laughs> Love her. I know, she's so great. What an icon. <laughs> Alexander reaches... After my goods, are you? What a greedy little man you are. Alexander feels the sharp... <laughs> that's what you get for preferring that old scrap of paper to me. Oh, that's new to me. <laughs> Tickets only. Next. Why do you think they call her out? So for years when I played this game, it would always cut off tickets only, so it would go, Tickets! Yep. Oh! And I cannot believe I'm actually hearing the whole thing this time. You know, when, when you died the first time when we started playing this, I noticed that it played the whole thing, and I don't know why. I wonder if it's because of having the text and speech on at the same time? I, I don't know. There's some combination of factors here. Hey, don't touch that thread! A black widow is an intricately... Some people like to ask for trouble! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. Either. Did we lose the music? Yeah, we did for a second, but now it's fine. Alexander snatches the scrap of parchment, curious to see what's written on it. Oh. <laughs> the wind blows the scrap of paper from Alexander's hand, but he remembers what it said well enough. Alex. I wonder if uh, the flute will do the same thing if this happens later. Good question. The tail end of this island is a riotous scramble of books, sand, and a spider's web. A riotous scramble? Like, I like how prosy they get in this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Piles of stacked books, looking ready to topple at any moment, have been arranged haphazardly on the sandy ground. Again, undoubtedly Jane Jensen's involvement. Piles of stacked books, looking ready to topple at any moment. It's ironic because, like, this is the most, like, visually, like, lush of the game, Piles so it's, like, needed it the, the least, but it's still nice to have the it. The tail... 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 The I the just want it fucking bees. The tail. The tail. The tail. The tail. I did it. I'm. 
Little bees <laughs> buzz around the books as though the pages were laden with the sweetest pollen. Maybe they're spelling bees. Oh. Now see, look what look what you did. <laughs> right. What do you think you're doing? I'm sorry. I I didn't realize these books had an owner. I'm in need of a rare book. <laughs> no owner. All books have owners, my good man. And this book owner, bookworm to you, wouldn't part with one of his books for anything. Isn't there something I can do for you to pay for the book? Hmm, let's see. Do you have an itinerant clause? No. No clauses at all, I'm afraid. As an exception, you always should! <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind Oxymoron and Diphthong. They're fairly limited grammatical principles, you know. Hmm, let's see. A marsh pig that does Texas? Uh, no. I'm afraid not. A dangling participle? I'm fresh out. A purple fiddlewhacker? No, Waka. I don't think so. Sorry. An idiosyncrasy, perhaps? Right not. Ha! Huh. <laughs> then what good are you? I love how, like, tired of it Alexander gets by the end. Like, he's just... <laughs> <laughs> There's no... Do you have anything interesting yet? A regular abnormality? Let me see what I have. I have a sentence. Would that do? An incomplete one, I suppose. <laughs> um, Why, <laughs> actually, it is incomplete. Just as I suspected, incomplete sentences are a dime a dozen, where you can literally just find them floating about. Complete sentences. Ooh, now there's something that's hard to come by these days. I see. Sorry. Now see, I would have heard that and thought, I've got to find, I've got to complete the sentence. Do you yeah. have a, a fleeting moment, perhaps? Uh, would you take this in exchange for a rare book? You want to trade that? There are millions of those lying about. No thank you. Do you think that's what he says for everything? Do you- Seems like it would fit. A fleet- uh, I have a magic map. That's pretty unusual. <laughs> and I suppose <laughs> I should just go poofing about with that map and leave my books unattended <laughs> for you to do with as you please? No, thank y'all. Oh my god, I've never heard <laughs> no, that. No, thank y'all. <laughs> do you have... F Oops, sorry, falling arches. Uh... I never would have even considered giving the map to anybody, so it's just funny to see, like... Mm -hmm. Alexander is... Would you take? You want to? Okay, yeah. That's so he didn't write. That is just the default it? response. Did you try giving him the letter from Kasima? No. You know what? Let's let's see. A subordinate clause, maybe. <laughs> uh, would you take this? You want? Okay. But it's a page full of complete sentences. What do you want from me, Sierra? <laughs> Oh my god, I love this whole area so much. A large tree stretches knotted limbs out over the swamp. Part of the tree's trunk is shaped like the face of a dog. Why, it must be a dogwood tree. The fallen log has a good-sized knot or bump. A stick is stuck in the middle of the swamp. My dear tree, is it true that your bark is worse than your bite? <laughs> Do you know the way that would scare the shit out of me? Like, I'm afraid of dogs. Um, I'm a lot better now as an adult. Like, but if a dog a is like barking and growling, I'm like, 
Apparently, the dogwood tree doesn't like Alexander standing that close. Like, he handles that very well. I would, like, scream and drop the bottle. <laughs> Alexander <laughs> drinks the milk and discards the bottle. Yum. Yum. Alexander takes... <laughs> Apparently... The... Yuck. Alexander doesn't want to put his bare hands in that oozy swamp. Can you walk into the swamp? Oh, I will. A mushy swamp lies just off the path. It doesn't look like very good swimming. The Isle of Wonder Swamp oozes with muck, moss, and mud. Crickets and frogs sing an endless serenade, and the green filtered light adds to the sense of dampness here. The fertile swamp is dense with moss-covered trees. The Isle of... A large tree... A large... A mushy... The swampy bog sinks beneath Alexander's weight. He feels himself being sucked slowly but firmly down into the muck. See ya. God, how unpleasant. As the marshy water fills Alexander's mouth, he thinks that although he'd always wanted to try a mud bath, this is hardly what he had in mind. <laughs> God. This is Next. hardly what Only. I had in mind. Next. Do you ever get that sinking feeling? <sighs> the bump on the log, Alexander considers climbing the tree. <coughs> and quickly changes his mind. Milkweed thrives near the mucky swamp. Small bottles filled with milk grow on it like fruit. Okay, here we go. <laughs> so excited, oh my god. Alright, I'm gonna look around at first. Unless Alexander is mistaken, those plants must be baby's tears. So cute, although, uh, I wonder why baby's tears instead of baby's breath, because I don't know baby's tears. Unless that's the same name for the same, or a different name for the same plant. Baby's tears is a mat forming tropical perennial with myriad tiny leaves. Vines of sweet, ripening tomatoes climb up little wooden posts. Alexander takes a close look at the tomato on the ground. It appears to be darker than those on the vines. What are you staring at there, boy? Go away, you rootless thing, you! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yep, tomato. That tomato is definitely rotten. Those grapes look awfully sour. Clinging vines climb the garden wall. A curiously speckled gate marks one end of the garden. The wallflowers look terribly shy. A colorful array of snapdragons stand guard to one side of the path. There appears to be a hole in the garden wall. Through the hole in the wall, Alexander sees a land that resembles a giant chessboard. Wow, it really is a hole in the wall. <laughs> Sounds! Those wallflowers sure are shy, and the snapdragons are awfully protective of them. Alexander can't even get close to the wallflowers without causing quite a stir. An elegant padded chair provides a cushy seat from which to enjoy the lively garden. So when Sierra was in their heyday, they had their own magazine called Interaction Magazine, and my dad subscribed to it. And like it would always, it was like Nintendo Power for Sierra. It always had like their latest releases and all this stuff. And there was one issue that I remember because my dad had a whole stack of them, and I used to read through them all the time. But there was one in particular that was announcing King's Quest VI, and it had a hole in the wall on it, uh, looking into. I, I don't remember the exact context. It might have been like looking into the rest of the magazine or something. But uh, I always think about that whenever I come to this scene. That's so um, just cute. Because it, it was so like. This this scene in particular, hole in the wall, everything here. This is like one of the first things I think of when I think of Hanks West Six. Oh yeah, I God, what I wouldn't give to see that cover. But for me as a kid, this was one of my favorite items, and I thought it was so cool and it was cute. Although the the close up view of it is actually really ugly, but but I liked it on the <laughs> screen and in your inventory. I think. 
To the right of the path is a little coffee table. Did I look at the wallflowers? The wallflowers. Oh, yeah. Okay. Two fat stone pillars surround the gate. Above them float pieces of stone that seem to be an <laughs> open rebellion against the laws of gravity. It's funny. There's so many things like that, like just about the environment that I never bothered to look at as a kid, because why would I? And now it's like, mm -hmm. there's all this mm -hmm. description that I missed out on. Is that lettuce growing in the garden? It looks a little chilled. It's Why, just it funny being iceberg lettuce. <laughs> it's just funny being an adult and like having an appreciation for prose and narrative and coming back and seeing this. Yes, like you yes. said, like it, it was so boring as a kid, but <laughs> now it's just it, it adds so much. Yeah. Staff Hunter says to no one in particular. Oops. What a pleasant garden this is. The inhabitants smile shyly but do not reply. I can't talk to him. How did you hey. manage to fall off the vine, Mr. Tomato? What do you think? I'm old. I'm rotten. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> if you say so. After all, you're just going to let me sit here and rot on this dry ground like everybody else, aren't you? Why, I don't know. I, I suppose... Ah, never mind. Just go away. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander said... What a pl the inhabitants... Rotten Tomato is rather put out with Alexander and won't pay attention to anything he says. Little king there. <laughs> Rotten Tomato there is rather put out with Alexander. <laughs> I'm sorry. The traditions must be hey, served. What do you think you're doing there? <laughs> Get your hands off me! Hey! Alexander picks up Rotten Tomato and puts him away. One never knows when one will need a Rotten Tomato. King Swift is very <laughs> fond of like the golden age animation, just visualizing turns of phrase. Mm hmm. Uh, what do you mean by that? So, you know, like in like old, old cartoons where the gag is just they take something like anything on the screen. Oh, like, I see what uh, you mean. Like making like a, a joke, a visual kind of gag out of a, a pun or something like that. They, they yeah. literalize like what the, the phrase means or yeah. they just try to just they, there's a lot of that, especially in these later King's Quest games um, where they have the animation to do so. Yeah. OK, sorry, I get you now. <laughs> the old rotten tomato gives Alexander a mean look and grumbles sourly. Hands off, you! <laughs> I always love doing that. Hands off, you! <laughs> Where were you born? A barn? It's a pigsty back here. Yeah! All this stuff you got. <laughs> what do you want to carry all this trash around for? <laughs> you know, it occurs to me that the only you know. reason... <laughs> yeah! There's kidnapping laws in this here kingdom! <laughs> the only reason there's a speech bubble in your inventory is because of Rotten Tomato. <laughs> Worth it. I think it might work for the spells too, but I would rather believe that it's only for Ron. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Where were you born? A barn? It's a pigsty back here. Yeah, all this stuff you got. What do you want to carry all this trash around for? I love him. Hey, get that out of my face. Yeah. <laughs> hey, get that out of my face. Yeah. I wonder Give if him he... the flower. See if he reacts to the flower. Okay. Hey, get that hey, out no. of my face! Yeah. There is. Oh shit! What? Hey, get that out of my face! Yeah. What was he? What? What? What was that dialogue? I don't know. He was saying there is no no what. What the hell? Hey, Come on. get that out of my face! Yeah. You know what? Fine. We're going to do this. <laughs> Just make a new one. There's no reason. <laughs> Alexander. Oops. Hey, get that out of my face. Yeah. Did I? Was Did that you an click act? it somewhere else, maybe? Alexander rubs the object against the rabbit's foot, hoping it will spread good luck. Alexander, Alexander is like rubs the stinky flower. Litter if he does that. There is no reason to use that on the mechanical nightingale. That won't complete. Oh, I bet it was There's this. No reason to use that I think it was on the this. Mechanical nightingale. 
Because he was what saying there's the no ribbon? something. Alexander doesn't want to do that to the oh. ribbon. It wouldn't be necessary to do that to the milk bottle. I actually kind of like these. It's basically the same as there's no reason to do that, but they made it just unique enough that it doesn't feel insulting. There is no reason to do that to the stand yeah. of hair. It's nice to there's have no it be point individualized to the item. On itself. Why would Alexander want to use that on the black feather? It wouldn't be worthwhile to try and spice up the book <laughs> by doing that. The magic map doesn't teleport objects. Okay. Interesting. I like hey, that. Get that out of my face! Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Alexander doesn't want... Oops. Sorry, I have to click this. It wouldn't be necessary... The magic map. It wouldn't be worth... Hey! Get that out of All my right. face! Probably just the yeah. same thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit, no. Oops. Would you lovely flowers be interested in this? Guess not. Doesn't really matter, but... All right. Zones. Alexander decides to pick up the hole in the wall. A hole in the wall could be a very useful thing. <laughs> Alexander startled the poor thing. It's run off to hide behind the wallflowers. You brute. It's okay, I'll just uh, go ahead and... The wallflowers, overcome with shyness at Alexander's approach, cluster together and cover the hole in the wall. Alexander can't get it. Okay, actually, there's something I've not tried before. I'm gonna... Let's see, I'm gonna restore really quick. So it's there. I'll come back and do the rest in a minute here. Uh, can you go back to that screen first? And can you uh, eat the grapes on the wall? Oh my gosh, thank you. Alexander gets closer to the sour grapes. Back off, bucko! <laughs> oh, uh, excuse me. Alexander addresses the grapes. Why are you so sour, if you don't mind my asking? We'll tell you. How would you like to have the possibility of being made into wine hanging over your head? And then there's our neighbors, the clinging vines. All they do all day is whine about the Ivy League social climbers that never call. It's really just no fun at all. Hmm, that's too bad. Well, I hope things start looking up. <laughs> Alexander, take him again. why are you? Wait, how would it? Hmm. Have a flower, ladies. Would you be interested in this? Hmm. We don't need any handouts, thank you. Alexander, try taking boy. him again. What'd you say? Try taking them again. Alexander gets back off. Oh. Hmm. I thought I remember being able to eat them. I don't remember that. Alex. Back oh. Alexander I could be thinking of any other. Examine the vines on the wall more closely. Come closer. We love ah, this is what you. I was thinking of. <laughs> yeah. I um, appreciate <coughs> your enthusiasm, <coughs> but I'm really not interested. Don't really, leave just... us. We like you. I'm really not interested, gag. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets only. Seeing my D and D love Next. interests. <laughs> Just wanna be loved by you. Okay, that's what I was. I, I thought there was a death back there, but I couldn't remember if it was the grapes or not. Hmm. What curious clinging vines are on this wall? We know we're fascinating, but no one ever visits us. We're lonely. That's too bad. We to be liked. We just want to be hugged. We've been clinging to this wall, but he's gotten boring. I see. Perhaps you should find a new place. Don't be stupid. We're clinging <laughs> vines, 
not particularly mobile. No, I don't suppose so. Well, good luck. I love them so much. We don't feel like talking. We just want a hug. What? We just want to be liked. We just want to be hugged. Alexander doesn't need <laughs> Would you have any interest in this? We don't want that! Ew! <laughs> I've never heard that before. Ew! Alright, I'll be right the dialogue, back. The dialogue almost, like, hints that you should be trying to transport them, but it's, it's not It's not the solution. It's not any solution. Oh. Sorry, that frog wasn't there before. I just wanted to see if I could... Ah! just want to look at it. <laughs> Whatever, fine. Or if you came from the other direction. Yeah, probably. Because before it was out of reach here. Like the 1992 equivalent of a boa. God damn it. The Isle of One. The Isle of. The Isle of Wonders, the Isle Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm not Rick. Oh, I'll, well. I'll, 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 get, I'll get the frog later. <laughs> I'm not speedy enough. Alexander. There's science to be done. Alexander. What's the science? Uh, I just want to see what happens if you try to get the hole in the wall uh, without actually trying to get it first. If that changes anything. Your candy dish is empty. I am sorry, sir, but I have no more mints. Somebody has eaten them all. Well, get some more, then. I fear that is impossible. Without the ferry, I can no longer get imports from the other islands, and we do not grow mint extract on the Isle of the Crown. Oh, I hate not getting what I want. <laughs> How fairy. A man my age can only thank the heavens for continued strength, young sire. The counter. Would you mind if... Of course, Prince Alex, please choose something in exchange for the items on the counter. Alexander, look. I'll take the flute. The flute? Very good, Prince Alex. May its music always be sweet. Feel free to trade it back at any time. Thank you. All right, now we get the Rosella flute animation. <laughs> Alexander plays a lovely little tune on the flute. If I was a shopkeeper, I'd be very annoyed about somebody Say. blasting the flute. <laughs> What's that on that back wall? Oh, I was gonna wait um, and look at it once I'm properly back, but uh, I'll go back. <laughs> Alexander plays his flute. The nightingale just looks at him curiously. We'll come back, I promise. I, I, I just I have to finish this first. Alexander. Alexander. Maybe it won't even let me do it, but let's see. May I have this dance? Oh, I love this song. Me <laughs> too. Alexander stops playing the flute. 
But the wallflowers and snapdragons continue to dance, caught up in the music and oblivious to everything around them. Alexander could climb the wall, but then again, there's a perfectly good gate. Okay. While the wallflowers dance, Alexander snatches the hole in the wall. Cool. I don't think you need to restore. Didn't, but do, isn't it a different animation? I feel like it comes out from behind the wallflowers. Oh, do you mind? I don't think so. I mean, just, you just, can go ahead. Yeah. See what happens. Alexander did. Like, I feel like I remember it coming out from behind the wallflowers, um, and then you grab it there. But maybe God is the exact same thing. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, I just, forgive me. Alexander. <laughs> Alexander. This is like, you know, um, before I married my husband, I wasn't used to stuff like screen protectors and phone cases and that kind of thing. And then after I got married to him, and like he was so protective about his electronics, I became worse than him. I'd be like, no, 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 I need you to put the screen protector on before I take my phone. And then now I feel like this is the same thing where I'm like, no, no, Rick, Your candy <laughs> we have to do have to do the science. I'm sorry. I am sorry, sir. Well, I fear that the text to speech thing is weird because sometimes I have to click through and sometimes I don't. Mm -hmm. It's hard to know which. Oh, come on. Oh. Might I? Certainly. Can't believe you just compared King's Quest Six to a screen Would protector. You... <laughs> is that of course. Is it, in, is it offensive Alexander. or is it? <laughs> I'll take. How dare you? To, to, to our uh, you. culture of '90s adventure game. Oh, fans. you're right. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Here to make it up to you, Rick. Hmm. Thank Alexander you. Alexander <laughs> doesn't remember that sign being on the wall before. He decides to take a closer look. It's a proclamation. It reads, Citizens Rejoice, announcing the royal wedding and coronation of Wazir Abdul Al-Hazred and Princess Kasima. For reasons of security, the wedding will not be open to the public. Long live the new king and queen of the land of the Green Isles. Alexander feels his stomach turn at the thought of the dread event. If he doesn't do something soon, Kasima will be another man's wife. That just boils his blood. Yeah. Alexander feet. The archway is. Alexander takes. It's no, a no, let me tear it off the wall. And crumble it. <laughs> Alexander need only. Uh. It's just pasted on there too thoroughly. I said this last time, but just the way he walks, Alexander it's like his shoulders his are shimmying, map. and it just always looks so funny. He's just like, <laughs> Alexander. like when he's facing forward. Mm -hmm. Although maybe it looks less silly um, at regular speed. Man, I know I've said it before, but everything about this game is just the purest of comfort food to me. I know. May I have this dance? Oh, my! <laughs> Once more with feeling. Okay, so it did move right out immediately. Mm -hmm. Versus when you do it right off, it hides and then it comes out again. I won't complain about hearing this song again. <laughs> I love the snapdragons, they're so cute. <laughs> I feel like when I was little, I saw them more often, and now I haven't seen one in years. But does this beat, you know, the King Anthony song? I don't know about that. Alexander stops playing the flute, but the wallflowers and snapdragons continue to dance, caught up in the music and oblivious to everything around them. This one is classy and classic, but King Anthony is the jam. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. While the wallflowers <laughs> dance, Alexander snatches the hole in the wall. You know what? Maybe it's not different at all, and I'm just imagining it. I felt like it was different. We're just going to go ahead it and say It is okay. Oh, wait. I get to do this. Mm -hmm. Greetings, ladies. 
How charming you look today. The wallflowers are too shy to talk to Alexander. Excuse me, ladies. Could I interest you in this? Would you ladies be at all interested <laughs> in this? The wallflowers shyly decline. What about you babies? Wait, did I talk to them? Hello. Aren't you a bunch of fine-looking young plants? Go, 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 go! <laughs> Apparently, the baby's tears haven't learned to talk yet. Would you babies be interested in this? The baby's tears only look up at Alexander with bewildered expressions. They must be a bit young for that. <laughs> hey, stop trying to give me away! Yeah! <laughs> Don't you love me? There's no reason to save here, but... A noble white chest knight stands at the top of the marble stairs. A red chess knight stands at the top of the marble steps. The entrance to chessboard land consists of a stepped marble bridge with astonished looking pillars. I like that the pillars are astonished. The entrance to chess... Alexander is standing at the edge of a strange land with rolling checkered hills. Two chessboard knights stand before the marble entrance, guarding a path which wanders like a ribbon into the velvety hills. The sky of chessboard land is a brilliant shade of blue and has heavy cotton candy clouds. Excuse me, what land lies beyond? What land? Chessboard land, you knave! <laughs> I see. And is chessboard land part of the land of the Green Isles? It is the home of the Red and White Queens, rulers of the Isle of Wonder, fairest of the islands that owe loyalty to the King of the Land of the Green Isles. But perhaps not for long. What do you mean? What is the purpose of unity with the great King and Queen dead? The princess is worth serving, but the feud with the other isles is strong. I would totally recast those two knights with Young and Song Wan. <laughs> <laughs> that would be incredible. I must insist, Your Highness. I shall send the lump of coal to the Wizier and the Princess as a present for their wedding, and that's the end of it. And I suppose you'll leave me with only this stupid spoiled egg to send, Your Highness. I want to impress the new king and queen of the realm as much as you do. As queen of this island, I have every right to that lump of coal. Who isn't queen of this <laughs> isle? The lump of coal is in my possession. Therefore, I shall do as I please with it. Besides, there's nothing wrong with that spoiled egg. The egg, though delightfully spoiled, is not nearly so valuable as the lump of coal, and you know it. Your Highness always got to carry the Singing Stone. It's not fair that you get the coal, too. That doesn't count. The Singing Stone was stolen by that horrid beast. I should get to keep the coal just because my stone was stolen. It wasn't your stone. It belonged to the Isle of Wonder Treasury. Your Highness always thinks that everything is hers. Excuse me, my good man, but could you settle an argument for us? Which of us should get to carry the coal and which the egg? Remember, white is the color of deserving truth and virtue. Quiet, your highness, and let <laughs> him make up his own mind. I, for one, shall be more proper and not even mention the fact that red is the color of love. I'm sorry, Your Majesties. I'm partial to both red and white, but I'm afraid that I don't know how to solve your problem. One of you will just have to be gracious and allow the other the lump of coal. What a ridiculously stupid idea! <laughs> Quite ludicrous. He was a lot of help, wasn't he? Oh, yes. Obviously a man of high intelligence. The lump of coal goes much better with my gown anyway. Black and red are imperial colors. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. 
Red does not go with anything, being much too self-conscious. White is the perfect accompaniment to any color. I love those two and their conversations so much. <laughs> Alexander really wasn't that helpful, though. He was very a diplomatic response. You know, he, he's a royalty speaking to other royalty. Uh, doesn't want to start a uh, fiasco. The mm -hmm. Red Queen has dropped her scarf on the steps. It it's it, Alexander picks up. The it's Red such Queen's a scarf. like lame, you know, <laughs> suggestion, and so very much like yes, the the royal family would absolutely have said. You know, <laughs> that would be their, their response. Like, Graham and Valenice probably would have said the same thing. Maybe not Rosella, mm -hmm. but... I found a red scarf. I believe the Red Queen dropped it. The Red Queen is always dropping her scarves. She thinks it's fashionable. Keep it, and consider yourself honored. I love that. <laughs> she thinks I it's fashionable. I feel like Rosella would give a sarcastic I response. I do as well. I believe the Red Queen dropped it. I don't care for red, and I don't wear scarves. <laughs> All right, Alexander well. decides against wearing the flamboyant red scarf. It really clashes with his green tunic. <laughs> Checkmate! That's... <laughs> When I tell you that all I wanted was to go into chessboard land as a child, like... Oh, yeah. And I dreamed and hoped for the day that I would be brave enough to finish the game so that I could finally get to the point where I go into chessboard land. <laughs> really? Checkmate! Only chess pieces allowed in chessboard land! Sorry, yep. I just wanted to see if I could, like... If, if it would be like, Alexander surely can't take them in a fight. Mm. <laughs> I so, mean... So Kid Suha thought that if you finish the game, you'd get to go to chessboard land. Not finish the game, but that if you got far enough, because you see how they talk about they're singing stone and the beast stole mm -hmm. it. Like, to me, obviously, they were setting up the fact that I would need to get the singing stone back and then they would let me in. Alexander picks a head of iceberg lettuce. Ye gads! Is that cold? <laughs> <laughs> I love his reaction so much. The iceberg lettuce is cold, wet, and not good eating. Alexander is carrying a full head of a queer-looking lettuce made of ice. The lettuce is rapidly melting. Rapidly, you the say. The hole in the wall has four legs and a curly tail. He's all limbs with only a hole for a body. But that doesn't make him any less whole. Can you that talk to him? Necessary. Oh yeah, good. The hole in the wall squirms <laughs> slightly in Alexander's palm. Thanks, I A hate bit it. Of the wall yeah. <laughs> shyness seems to have rubbed off on the hole in the wall, for he remains mute. So let's see. There's no reason to use the magic. It wouldn't be worth. All right. What if you use something on the hole in the wall? The hole in the wall is doing just fine without that. <laughs> or the lettuce? There's no reason to use... Okay. Would you guys uh, like to overthink like, Alexander uh, pulls out how his magic the chessboard land came into existence? Like, uh, is, yeah. It just, yeah. is it just naturally occurring? Um, Alexander feels a strange pulling sensation. It's just the you know, Isle of Wonder, like everything is just naturally uh, magical and whimsical, and that's why these things occur. I think so. Well, they're all based on puns and stuff from a world that doesn't exist, or that is not mm -hmm. known to them, so... I love I that little deer. Oh yeah, it's very cute. A little cute. fawn is feeding on a grassy hillock near the sea. <laughs> Pointedly ignoring the interesting thing back the there. The fawn is too busy <laughs> eating to pay attention to Alexander. <laughs> <laughs> There's something strange hanging from the tree, and we're like, ooh, a fawn! the temptation to pet the <laughs> fawn, thinking he might frighten it. There's an odd little creature dangling from that tree branch. Alexander can't reach the little creature on the tree branch. It will have to come down on its own. Hello, friend. Aren't you an odd-looking little fellow? You are. Oh, I'm sorry. I 
I didn't realize you could speak. Speak not? Funny is, speech I am and nothing but. You speak strangely, friend. Strange? My speech is not eloquence I speak with. But who are you? And why are you here? Away I fly my home from. Lost I am, therefore. Uh. <laughs> As my name, too? Can you guess not? It's what I do this branch with, and the way I speak of. My adventure game anxiety brain is just so worried about Alexander's pants getting cold and wet from that iceberg lettuce. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, we've got time. If you're lost, <laughs> perhaps I can take you home. Take me home, too? Think not I do. No, you, I do not. Are you sure? Trust oh, you, I do not. Stay here, I will. Are you sure you don't want me to try to find your home? Trust you, I do not. Stay here, I will. Would you be interested in this? That I like not. Take it away, do. How about a book? <laughs> Would you be interested in this? That I like. Perhaps a, a nice little song. Would you be in? Alexander <laughs> plays a lovely little tune on the flute. Well, it doesn't seem like he's going to give us much of anything, but hey, maybe you recognize your pal. Would you be interested? Oh. Okay. Oh, wait, one more. <laughs> Would you be... Alexander is carrying, oddly enough, a sentence. It says, Where are you going? Alexander Alexander holds the sentence out to the creature. This sentence seems in need of an ending. Perhaps you could finish it? Where are you going? Where are you going? No, and I do. Where are you going to? Like you, I do. Go I with you. Well, that was certainly interesting. It looks like Alexander now has a passenger. <laughs> I'm assuming the iceberg lettuce also operates on screen uh, travel. Yes, I know. That's why I said adventure game anxiety because it's oh, not true. I didn't true. realize. I, I thought just it was actually a it. timer. But you, you can. You can use it for a very long time, actually. As a kid, I really tested the, the limits. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not, like, at One all. One end of the creature resembles a miniature dragon, while the other looks like a possum. What a strange-looking fellow. See, we should have had a Cedric to fight him. Tickle me not! <laughs> Take me home to! Take me home to! That up. Oops. Thanks, no! Me want it not! We loved him as a kid. Like, we would just do everything and anything with him. <laughs> Alexander is afraid he might smudge Cosima's letter if he does that. It's such a short part of the game, and we always knew exactly where to take him, so we never really got to mess around with him, but we certainly enjoyed it. This is going to be really mean. <laughs> Alexander decides to brave the boiling No, pot. not with him in your pocket. And Rotten Tomato, you monster! <laughs> And soon realizes a deep sympathy. Wow, double murder suicide. I can't believe you. It's like how you get tomato soup. It didn't even melt. <laughs> Hoping to cool down the boiling pond, Alexander throws in a head of iceberg lettuce. The pond's water slowly stops boiling, cooled by the ice. It still looks hot, but bearable. Okay, one ice cube would not be enough to cool that whole pond down. No. What are you, nuts? Don't put me in that soup bowl of a pond, you crazy human! I'm so glad I tried that. <laughs> it just occurred to me. <laughs> the little creature would hardly be interested in taking a bath in that pond. That's a hole in the wall, not a hole in the pond. I can't believe how many options there are for this. Mm -hmm. That would have no. That would have. It's probably most of them, but. Mostly the ones that would be homicide. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
hoping to cool down the boiling pond. Like you can actually water use this slowly stops boiling cool even when it's the ice. It mostly still looks melted. hot but bearable. Really? Mhm. Mm I I mean you don't need do you want me to show you? No, or? we don't need we don't need to do the science. <laughs> An old abandoned hunter's lamp is hanging on one of the trees. Alexander wonders who might have It's funny actually because I remember as a kid it would take me so long to get to from the Isle of Wonder to the screen and I Alexander decides sure to why. brave the steaming pond. <laughs> ouch! Ow! Ooh, 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 ouch! The pond is no longer <laughs> boiling, but it's hardly bathwater. You know, I love the indignity that they give Alexander in some of these scenarios. Like mm -hmm. I don't I feel like it's it's a departure from some of the other King's quests. <laughs> Absolutely. Alexander takes the old hunter's lamp from the tree. Like he's still very serious, but it's he's mm -hmm. in such goofy situations and they just let him be goofy. It's great. Alexander rubs the lamp, but nothing happens. Alexander is carrying an old the lamp is in As Alexander continues down the path, he gets the strange feeling that he's being watched. Come on over here and see what I'm doing with these flowers. Never mind that stone fella on top of the gate. He won't hurt you any. He's just there to scare you. Well, far be it from me to... Uh... Refuse an invitation. A pleasant looking <laughs> middle aged man is busy tending a small garden just past the wall. Oh, he's pleasant looking. I'm Alexander of Daventry. Who are you? What difference does it make? Just come on <laughs> over here. I'll tell you my life history if you still want to hear it. <laughs> tell me. If it's conversation you want, just come on over here. I'll talk your ears off if we can sit down and talk face to face. Tell me if it's a stone archer sits atop the lintel of the gate like a silent guardian. His stone bow is tightly drawn and fitted with a single stone arrow. The statue to the left of the gate shows a man kneeling down with his spear as though waiting for a target. Look here, archer. Do you mind if I pass? The archer retains his stony silence. <laughs> the stone statue doesn't respond. Are you trying to do something? Just waiting. Usually the genies get bored if you take too long. Mm -hmm. Look, there's no point in hanging out here all day. I can show you the wondrous castle that lies in the middle of the island. Don't be so timid. I've never heard that one. <laughs> Alexander sighing and checking his watch. <laughs> Come on. I can't fake garden all day. I like that he appears to be a fox man. Uh, you least... aren't going to listen to me, are you? Well. We'll just see about that. That's <laughs> odd. The gardener just disappeared. Those <laughs> are ears, right? It looks like he has, like, horns or something, um, which feels like it isn't really great for his disguise unless he's just trying to resemble the beast. I'm Alexander... What if... It could also just be like, you know, he's got, like, a pompadour going on. Ah! Oh, I guess he could. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha this time. Tickets only. Next. That move was slightly erroneous. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alexander. Damn it.
See that pun um, the path through the a man works better with voicing. If it had been just in text, grass. it would not have worked. It must have come <laughs> from the old brick wall. The path through the woods runs through a gated wall here. Two stone statues stand guard on the gate's lintels. To the north, the path continues on through a hedge of roses and a dainty gazebo. A man tends to a small garden plot on the other side of the wall. A gray brick wall runs to the east and west on either side of the path. The path through a man, flowering rose hedges grow on either side of the path winding north. A delicate gazebo made of white painted pine and overgrown with rose vines leads north into what appears from here to be a garden. Tall narrow trees abound on each side of the path. The path a man Alexander The brick feels very heavy and solid in Alexander's hand. Small speckles of sand stand out against the otherwise gray brick. Using that on the wall would not help anything. Using that Come on through, I say. I The stone archer would undoubtedly <laughs> shoot Alexander long before he managed to climb up the wall to try that. Perhaps you'd find this interesting. Hmm? Hmm? Sure, bring it on over to this side of the wall where I can see it better. The stone art. Perhaps. Hmm? You aren't going to listen to me, are you? God, now I really want to know, is it a pompadour or is it like That's fox odd. ears? The gardener just disappeared. <laughs> I, I think it's a like widow's a... peak. Do you really? Mm -hmm. Am I crazy? I guess Alexander would have said something, I mean, wouldn't he? Wouldn't it be a reverse widow's peak? He probably would have said no. something like, uh, there's an odd man with what appear to be Alexander. horns or ears or something like that. But I just cannot not see it as that. Ooh, I wonder if I can Alexander take it to the pot feels shop. a strange pulling sensation. No, Widow's Peak is a V-shaped descending extension of the anterior hairline Reason. at the center of the forehead. I just realized there's a lot of things I've never tried trading it. Does anything? Good day, Prince Alexander. He's not really sad, is he? No. I just always, as a kid, thought he sounded so disappointed, but now I feel like it's just a different read on the line. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. The dangling participle wouldn't appreciate being traded into a pawn shop. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. The little hole in the wall might not appreciate being traded in like some ordinary old object that has lost its usefulness. Would you be interested in trading for this brick? Hmm. I am afraid I have very little call for bricks, Prince Alex. Ooh, I should see if I can get some lettuce here as well. If Alexander wants to exchange... Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? A feather? I think not, Prince Alex, but it is a very nice feather. <laughs> Would you be interested? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> this is a pawn shop, not a barber shop. The owner is unlikely to be interested in a single strand of hair. But it's priceless. But would a barber shop also, like, take a single strand of hair? <laughs> Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? I have too many lamps already, thanks. Would you be int- I think not. That's too bad, there is a general one after all. Alexander is not about to show his <laughs> private message from Cosima to anyone. Would you be int- Hmm, a rabbit's foot. I do not believe I could use that. 
If Alexander wants... Alexander doesn't want to trade in the red ribbon. It might be from Cosima. If Alexander... Would you be... I think... <laughs> Rotten Tomato wouldn't appreciate being traded into a pawn shop. Who cares what he'd appreciate? You're just an inventory item now, Buster. <laughs> oh shit, oh Jello, no. How fare you? And what news have you from the castle? Prince Alex, how I fare is close to boiling. Have you seen the wedding proclamations around the village? I've heard rumors of the wedding, of course, but I didn't want to believe it, and I never thought it would be so soon. Kasima, married. Oh, it is an unpleasant thing to swallow, friend. If only I knew Kasima wished it. Tell me about the Wazir, Jalo. The Wazir? <laughs> now there's a dangerous subject. His name is Abdul al Hazret. He came to the kingdom 15 years ago. The king was fascinated by his knowledge and his fine-sounding ideas. It didn't take long for al Hazred to convince the king to trust him with the minor problems of daily government. You see, Caliphim had a wife and a new daughter he wanted to spend time with. al Hazred became wazir. And now? Well, he's had his eye on Kasima ever since she was a young girl. And she is the only thing between him and the throne. Do you think he means to harm her? Oh, I honestly don't know. I think he'd rather keep her as wife. But whatever his plans for the princess, he will use her to his best advantage. That's his way. Perhaps he has charmed her. Perhaps she cares for him now. The Wazir is capable of anything. And Kasima must be vulnerable and lonely right now. Still, she has always instinctively distrusted him. Kasima has a good head on her shoulders. I'd be surprised if she's truly fallen for his words of love. I must return to the castle, Prince Alex, and you to your wanderings. May we both farewell. Did I blow it here, or...? Did you blow it? How? Like, I didn't miss a chance to give him anything, did I? That was an entire cutscene, and he leaves immediately before you can interact with him, so I think I, you're fine. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't, like, because I didn't have an item that, like, you know, the game didn't offer it, but, alright. Alexander sees... Look, I have anything to try with him. I just, I've never taken the dangling participle here before, so I just wanted to see if there was anything <laughs> to be done. Hey, girl. There's a young, this, the girl is too. F There's no. Would you like a tomato? <laughs> the young serving girl. Go help my daughter. She needs something to fix her hair. Yes, stepmother. That would serve. God damn. Let me tomato you. All right. Alright, I'm gonna just, for once, go from here. Just for the thrill. Alexander pull It just feels like it doesn't count. I don't think there's anywhere else to take him. Alexander feels- Do you have anything interesting yet? A pr- uh, I have a rotten tomato. I'm sure you do, son. <laughs> but there's nothing I can do about it. Burn. Do you- Would you take this? I should just save it. <laughs> Do a Probably won't say anything uh, about the milk. 
I guess I'll just give it to him. I have a rotten. Oh time. shit! I'm sorry. That's not what I'm supposed to give him. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, I promise. I actually do have something to give you. I found this little fellow lost on another island. <laughs> Coming home, I am too. There you are, you naughty boy. I told you not to leave the island. Glad I am seeing you too. A most <laughs> solemn celebration. <laughs> So, you found my dangling participle. I suppose I'll have to give you something. Uh, let's see now. Was it a rare book you wanted? Yes, sir. Well, then none of these will do. They've been sitting in the sun far too long and must be well cooked by now. I just got that joke. Oh my god. <laughs> this one is far more rare. A delicious little tidbit. Mm. All these years later. <laughs> uh, thanks. But that that's not like a dig on you, more like, I love that you finally, <laughs> finally clicked now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alexander doesn't need anything more from Bookworm or his friends. That breaks my heart. I love Bookworm. Alexander is carrying a rare book from the Bookworm. The words in the binding are very faint. The something something riddle book. Alexander opens the rare book and looks inside. I almost I was only looking at this to be thorough. I forgot I had to look at it. Like holy shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the book contains riddles and has a page missing. Alexander glances at a few of the conundrums, but finds himself more curious about the one that is missing. What was the riddle, he wonders. More importantly, what was the answer? Guess we're just gonna have to wonder. Sure, it won't be important. Hey, that's what they named the island after. 